All right, this is going to be a really casual video on my diet and nutrition habits on a daily basis. This was a request from Jesse as a video. So I figured I would just make this video, post it to YouTube, make it super easy. So basically I'm gonna take you through a day in the life of my eating habits um, and what I ingest in a day. So you can understand where I get my energy from. So uh, to start, let's start from the morning. So in the morning, I. Uh, I always like to have fresh pressed juice every morning. That typically is gonna be the first thing I consume. Usually I have a, a glass or two this big, really delicious. Um, this is usually a, just a mix of fruits and veggies. Like this one in particular is cucumber, celery, beets, and uh, maybe some apple, I forget exactly what. Mia is making them for me right now. Um, but I usually like to add more fruits than veggies. That is one of the best ways to start digestion and get some clean, clean, light, easy energy in the morning. Tastes delicious as well. So I like to have juice every day. I also drink juice all throughout the day, just when I my body wants it. And so like this whole thing was full of juice and obviously I need to get some more. Um, so that's a big part. Then after juicing, sometimes I will eat right away a little bit, but oftentimes I'll juice and then I'll wait until later on until I'm, again a lot of people like they eat at certain times of the day i'm a big believer in intuitive eating meaning that i'm gonna eat the way my body wants to and i'm gonna listen to my body i'm not gonna follow a specific structure i'm gonna listen to what my body's telling me because i believe your body is very intelligent and it will tell you what it really needs okay so um i consume a lot of fruit i think fruit is one of the best things for you as you can see, I got a lot of oranges, a couple of little mini pears there. Um, this is dependent on where you live and what kind of produce grows fresh and naturally. For me right now where I'm at, oranges, they've got a, a really good amount of oranges. They're fresh, they're, they're ripe, they're freaking delicious, and they feel nutritious. So I stocked up on a bunch of those. And I've been eating like, if you see my like trash can, it's kind of gross, but tons of orange peels. I've been eating like, like four to five a day, oranges, um, and all types of fruits, you know, apples, bananas. I like to get like blueberries and mango, anything I can get. Depends on where you live and your climate is gonna depend on what kind of fruits you get. So I'm eating fruits all throughout the day. Um, I also love to eat things like um, cooked potatoes, like mashed potatoes sometimes, cooked veggies like broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, you know, tomato, whatever I can find. I love like mixed veggie, um, mixed veggie dishes, whether that's like a, you stir fry it or you boil it or even make a soup. I love all that stuff. Really clean, really good. I, I use very little oil in my diet. Any oil that I do have is just a tiny little bit of olive oil for cooking. I try to minimize the amount of oil as much as possible because oil is very mucus forming. You can even hear it in my voice a little bit. <laughs> It's a little bit of mucus in my system, which is not ideal, but I'm not perfect. I'm still growing. Um, that's pretty accurate. Sometimes I'll have a little bit of peanut butter, like especially all also off. This is what I gotta say is I often make fruit bowls. So I will, what I'll do is I'll take frozen fruit like this, mango chunks or frozen blueberries or mixed berries. And then I will blend them in a blender. A lot of people use almond milk things like that. I've switched to water because I'm noticing that almond milk, you know, if you really le read the ingredients on it, there's a lot of artificial stuff. So not ideal, better than uh, cow's milk in my opinion for your system, but uh, try to get off of it if you can. Uh, I use water. Water is a great thing. It doesn't have to be milky, right? It's actually even more delicious with water in my opinion. Um, it's more sweet. So I'll make fruit bowls. I just like blend it up to get this nice consistency where it's like, it's almost like Okay, you guys have seen like those kind of acai fruit bowls at restaurants and stuff. Really delicious. And I was talking about peanut butter because sometimes I'll put some peanut butter in there, but I'm trying to get off the peanut butter because it's super high in oils, just like we talked about. Um, let's see what else. This is a really unstructured off the cuff video here. So I uh, can't expect too much. I'll show you what I got in my fridge. I need to go shopping, but got some uh, some lettuce here. Some, uh, I guess that's romaine lettuce. And then I've got some green peppers, a lot of greens, right? Uh, cucumbers, uh, potatoes, 
bread and a russet uh, a little ah, i may not even eat this who knows uh, <laughs> but that's kind of my fridge right now you can see no bullshit uh also in terms of like sauces like i love to have like this is organic mustard and if you look at the ingredients it's like you probably can't see it, it's backwards but it's uh vinegar organic vinegar organic mustard seeds water sea salt turmeric organic turmeric organic paprika organic spices right no artifact no natural flavors don't eat natural if you see natural flavors that is a bad thing because they are carcinogenic they are not natural that's marketing for you um yeah sometimes i'll eat peanut butter and jellies it's kind of like my cheat thing um i mean that's mostly it and then the last kind of bit is like i've been eating these dried plums recently which those are a nice snack in its fruit however it's got potassium sorbate which is a preservative which is not ideal because any amount of preservatives is bad for your body it's toxic um so try to cut down on that oftentimes what i've been doing is usually in the evenings i love the taste of beans with some like really good spices like i got these spice mixes here i'll make it taste really good but i'll just literally open up a can of beans warm them up spice them right and i'll eat those and it's delicious although beans unlike fruits and veggies most fruits and veggies beans they don't digest as well because they're kind of mushy and they kind of stick together but if you eat beans in like a salad that's a great way to 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 keep it moving and to make sure it gets digested well um yeah i think that's pretty much it i try to just eat as much fruit and then as possible I'm trying to you know make fruit my main source of fuel um energy and also last thing i'll say is i've got this voss water bottle shout outs to voss they make really cool water bottles this guy's 27 ounces or so and i try to drink at least four of those a day for those full bottles because i believe that a good reference for how much water you should intake is take your weight in pounds then divide it by two and then turn it into ounces so if you're 200 pounds divide it in two that's 100 pounds and then turn it into ounces 100 ounces so if you're a 200 pound person try to drink 100 ounces of water a day and use that same formula for your weight so for me i don't know i'm like 165 i haven't measured in a while i don't keep a scale so that's about 80 plus ounces and if i drink three to four of those i'm getting my water for the day and i feel hydrated i feel good and uh, that would be my nutrition for the day um a couple of notes here because certain people who are like they're like health experts or be like, oh, well, you're going to be deficient in this vitamin or that vitamin and this. Oh, uh, it's like you need to get meat and like liver and these things because otherwise you're going to be deficient in iron and all these things. It's like, OK, I hear you. But did you know that your body will literally has the ability to make almost every single nutrient that you need? Like in terms of protein, your body creates proteins. So all types of like amino acids, your body creates them as well as most of the vitamins and nutrients we meet, we need, our body can create them. However, there is one exception, and there might be another one I'm missing, but the one I know of is vitamin C. Your body cannot make vitamin C naturally, so you have to get that from somewhere. Everything else your body makes. So your body is a very intelligent machine. However, where do we get vitamin C the most from? Well, typically from fruits and veggies. And it's very easy to get plenty of vitamin C. Like mangoes have an incredibly high amount of vitamin C, I believe even more than oranges. Apples, huge amount of vitamin C. Pears have vitamin C too. There's tons and tons of fruits that have vitamin C. I think blueberries have them too, right? Not just oranges. Oranges are a, a fine source as well. But actually there are plenty of other fruits that have more vitamin C than oranges. Look it up. So yeah, that is my nutritional thing. Eat more fruits and veggies, drink more water drink more juice. That's it. That's my recommendation for you. I'll keep this under 10 minutes. I uh, hope this helped. I don't know if anybody's going to see this, but uh, one of my most ragtag videos yet and uh, not mad about it. So I hope you enjoyed. See you later.